There are, of course, intercultural difficulties as well as language difficulties, he said. There are, of course, also many Australian students who don't speak such fantastically good English either. Domestic violence increased during lockdown in the United States, a new study, published in Psychology of Violence, looks at rates of intimate partner violence during the pandemic in the United States. Like data from the UK, it suggests that domestic violence increased during lockdown. Do something you are very passionate about, and do not try to chase what it is considered the hot passion, the day. People say you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And it's totally true. You have to do it over a sustained period of time. So, if you don't love it, you're going to give up.
Many families are fleeing their native countries due to sectarian repression and political uprisings. Consequently, thousands of people have been stranded in foreign lands for months. Other families have gone missing in the sea, ruined in small boats, as the neighboring foreign countries refuse to take them in. A series of camel sculptures carved into rock faces in Saudi Arabia are likely to be the oldest large-scale animal reliefs in the world, study says. When the carvings were first discovered in 2018, researchers estimated they were created about 2,000 years ago. This was based on their similarity to reliefs at Jordan's famous ancient city of Petra. Since the Soviet Union successfully launched the first man-made satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957, about 5,000 more satellites have been put into orbit around the Earth. About 2,000 of these are active and although the rest are now dysfunctional, they remain in orbit, together with parts from all the rockets that carried them there. These remnants are often referred to as space junk, space trash or orbital debris.
change is inevitable in any sphere of life, although the results of change can bring great benefits. The process of change can be intensely traumatic, involve loss of choice, power and status, and when change happens in the workplace, it can even lead to loss of jobs. Many businesses and organizations use a model called the change curve to understand and manage how people react to change. In 1994, Microsoft's founder, Bill Gates, said that although banking is necessary, banks are really not, at a time when many traditional institutions and ways of doing things are changing. Banking is changing too. There are now new ways of accessing loans and lending money. Thanks to the rise of alternative finance, people can raise and invest money outside the traditional banking system. Researchers have, inspired by the efficient foraging behavior of a single-celled amoeba, developed an analog computer for finding a reliable and swift solution to the traveling salesman problem, a representative combinatorial optimization problem.
an analysis of ten different species finds that humans, followed by ferrets and to a lesser extent cats, civets and dogs, are the most susceptible animals to SARS-CoV-2 infection. A single protein is a master regulator of mouse muscle function during aging. A new study finds blocking this protein increased muscle strength and endurance in old animals. It may play a role in age-related muscle weakening in humans. The global collapse of frogs and other amphibians due to the amphibian chated fungus exacerbated malaria outbreaks in Costa Rica and Panama during the 1990s and 2000s. According to new research, the findings provide the first evidence that amphibian population declines have directly affected human health and show how preserving biodiversity can benefit humans as well as local ecosystems.
mass extinctions of land-dwelling animals, including amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and birds for a cycle of about 27 million years, coinciding with previously reported mass extinctions of ocean life, according to a new analysis. The provision of accurate and authoritative statistical information strengthens our society. It provides a basis for decisions to be made on public policy, such as determining electoral boundaries and where to locate schools and hospitals. It also allows businesses to know their market, grow their business, and improve their marketing strategies by targeting their activities appropriately. It is precisely in observing the intertwinings of success and failure that chasing the flame makes its greatest mark. With piercing insight and relentless logic, it reveals the pitfalls of international politics and details an intricate struggle between individual and institution. It haunts us with the poignant truth that even a great man can do only so much to reinvent the world.
The asteroid that slammed into the moon 3.8 billion years ago creating the Basin Bay had a diameter of at least 150 miles, according to a new estimate. The work helps explain puzzling geological features on the moon's near side and has implications for understanding the evolution of the early solar system. The United States is at present the world's market for motor cars and trucks, an agent for the U.S. Bureau of Foreign and Domestic Commerce reports a prosperous condition of affairs prevailing in Japan, which is buying more automobiles, especially large cars, than ever before. Non-invasive brain stimulation is having its heyday, as scientists and hobbyists alike look for ways to change the activity of neurons without cutting into the brain and implanting electrodes. Next, the researchers wanted to figure out how much current they needed to apply to the human scalp to produce those electrical fields inside the brain.
When we put toast in the toaster, or add marshmallows to the top of our sweet potatoes for a baked holiday dish, we expect them to turn brown and to develop a sweet, caramelized flavor. Although we expect it to happen, do you know why certain foods take on these new colors and flavors as they are toasted? This flu season is a particularly severe one, and it's not over yet. Health officials say flu activity will likely remain elevated for at least several more weeks. But if you already caught the flu, are you in the clear for the rest of the season? The disease model remains dominant in the U. Because of its stakeholders, first, the rehab industry, worth an estimated $35 billion per year, uses the disease nomenclature in the vast majority of its ads and slogans. Despite consistently low success rates, that's not likely to stop because it pulls in the cash. Second, as long as addiction is labeled a disease medical insurance, providers can be required to pay for it.
Normally, if we spin around in an office chair and suddenly stop, we feel like we're still moving. That's because fluid in the inner ear responsible for detecting movement continues to whirl around due to inertia, making your brain think it's still in motion. Roughly 1 million sexually transmitted infections are exchanged each day. If untreated, they can lead to cervical cancer, pelvic inflammatory disease and infertility. However, people are often reluctant to ask their doctors to test for such infections, so if medical in Toronto developed a kit for women to screen themselves. Hopefully, this will treat and prevent acne and other skin diseases and reduce antibiotic use. Naked Biome is entering clinical trials to see if its approach is safe and effective.
for the designers and engineers who spend years crafting teams' uniforms to offer both style and extraordinary aerodynamics. The need to keep our fleets warm in these extreme temperatures posed an added dimension to difficulty. Humans need to use energy in order to exist. So it isn't surprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms, but those that are most concerning because of their impact on health result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars. Not a lot is known about how the transportation of goods by water first began. Large cargo boats were being used in some parts of the world up to 5,000 years ago. However, sea trade became more widespread when large sailing boats travelled between ports, carrying spices, perfumes and objects made by hens.
The speaker is a marine biologist who became interested in the Strandlopers, an ancient people who lived on the coastline, because of their connection to the sea. Their way of life intrigued him. As a child, he had spent a lot of time by the sea, exploring and collecting things, so he began to study them and discovered some interesting information about their way of life, how they hunted, what tools they used, and so on. Dolphins, whales, and porpoises are all social animals, but some species are more sociable than others. This depends on the environment because a species adopts the lifestyle most suitable for this. Among dolphins, forming groups makes it easier for them to find food, reproduce, and gain knowledge. They are safer too, because dolphins can communicate danger when there are threats around. It's not that human activities didn't impact wildlife at all, of course. Heavy hunted species, like white-tailed deer, grey squirrels, and raccoons, were photographed somewhat less often in hunted areas. Coyotes showed up more often in hunted areas. While most species didn't avoid hiking trails, the predators actually preferred them.
The second group that is particularly vulnerable are night shift workers, and the third group that is particularly vulnerable are people with sleep disorders, particularly sleep apnea. One out of three men and one out of six women have sleep apnea, and yet 85% are undiagnosed and untreated, and it more than doubles the risk of cancers. Networking is easy and fun because it taps into this human predilection to talk about ourselves when asked. Consider successful networking as little more than the process of guiding a person to tell you about his life, what he's doing, the company that employs him, and his current industry. For the purposes of argument, culture is divided into material and non-material, and the speaker's aim is to show how they both affect each other. Material developments in tools and technology can affect non-material culture, our customs and beliefs, and the other way around. Genetics is used as an example as it has changed the way we think about life but also our beliefs have affected its rate of development.
usually pages determined by physical characteristics, such as teeth or bones. Great if you have a body. Researchers have tried unsuccessfully to use blood, but in this study, the scientists use immune cells called T-cells. T-cells recognize invaders through receptors that match molecules on bacteria, viruses, even tumors. The cellular activity that produces these receptors also produces a type of circuit. Thompson recognized and exploded all the ingredients of a successful amusement ride, writes Judith A. Adams in the American Amusement Park industry. His coasters combined an appearance of danger with actual safety, thrilled riders with exhilarating speed, and allowed the public to intimately experience the industrial revolution's new technologies of gears, steel, and dazzling electric lights. The tsunamis could provide crucial information about the habitability of ancient Mars. The first one occurred when the planet must have been relatively warm and amenable for life, because it carved out backwash channels as it returned to the sea. By contrast, the planet had become much cooler by the time the second tsunami hit.
There are three main interpretations of the English Revolution. The longest lasting interpretation was that the revolution was the almost inevitable outcome of an age-old power struggle between Parliament and Crown. The second sees it as a class struggle, and it led it up to the French and other revolutions. Finally, the third interpretation sees the other two as to fixed, not allowing for unpredictability, and that the outcome could have gone either way. Rice took a stab at a settling argument with a meta-analysis, a study of studies on whether people can really perceive better than city quality sound. He analyzed data from a teen studies, including more than 400 participants and nearly 13,000 listening tests. Overall, listeners picked out the better than CD quality track 50 to 0.3% of the time. Statistically significant, not all that impressive. There are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture. Some people see it as purely functional and useful, and don't bother themselves with aesthetics. Others see it as essential to civilized living and concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room. In other words, function combined with aesthetics, and yet others see furniture as a form of art.
Currently, integration is increasingly needed in the business environment. This need emerges from the efficiency and synergy requirements necessary in a complex and turbulent environment. In other words, integration is needed to facilitate coordination, which is again related to the building of competitive advantage.